Hi everybody, uh, my name is Ken and I'm going to do a video today on how healers can get healing. And this came up because what was happening was I did a video and if you look at the link below on this video, I did a video that was about why healers need healing and make sure that the healer that you go to is getting healing. And then I was coming across a Facebook page, a Facebook group, and someone asked a really good question, which is, if you're a healer, how do you get healing? And what surprised me was how many people responded with, well, go into nature, do salt baths, you know, do all the self-healing, all this and that. And it seemed like an overwhelming amount of the responses were about people doing self-healing, which I'm totally for. I'm totally with that. Uh, my experience is I've been doing this for many, 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 many years, probably over 10 to 15 years. And what I've noticed is that sometimes you can do self-healing on yourself, but other times you need he other healers to help you. And to just say, you know, oh, go into nature and, you know, have a salt bath and, that's, and then you'll be totally fine. I, I think it's kind of misleading. And I hope that that's not the consensus out there if you're a healer. So this is what's happened is my life, my experience is I actually had a shoulder injury on my right shoulder and it was extremely bad, like extremely bad where I couldn't even, I, I couldn't even lift my arm and you think like this is my right arm and, and that's really bad. But the worst thing about it is, is at the time I was facilitating for the government and what I was doing is uh, standing in front of a whiteboard doing workshops for people on welfare, people on... Uh, uh, disability people who basically were trying to find work and find, trying to find jobs and and I couldn't even lift my arm to write on the whiteboard it was brutal like this is my livelihood and I had to get the students to come up and draw things on the whiteboard for me it was that bad and I was like okay this isn't gonna work so what did I do I talked I went to three specialists and all three specialists told me that my shoulder my ligament that it would never heal that I would be like this for the rest of my life I couldn't even lift my arm like over my over my side here and I said no screw that like this isn't gonna happen there's no possible way so what I did is I just kept talking to my arm kept talking to my shoulder and said you are healed you are healthy you are healed you're fully healed and I kept talking to it and talking to it and to this day it's fully 100% healed even though three specialists said that there's no possible way it could ever be healed and I went for MRIs and everything and it you know so that's the power of self-healing I'm totally for that then on the other extreme is, so that's one extreme is self-healing. The other extreme is when you go to another healer and they do all the healing. Now some people have this theory that a healer doesn't actually heal. That a heal, healer just helps to propagate the healing and get the healing process facilitated. And when, what I do is, so I'm a channeler for a living. That's what to see if everything's fully healed as much as it can be, different aspects of them, whatever it might be. And so then when I check, I'm like, yeah, that's fully healed. And then there's other times when the client will help facilitate the healing as well. So they both work together at times. But there's times when the healer actually does the full out healing. And so for me anyways, what I want to do is I want to make sure that if I need to go to a healer, I'm going to go to a healer. Because there's times when, yes, I could do self-healing, but there's other times when it's deeper issues, especially emotional, mental, depression, anxiety, things like that, uh, mommy issues, daddy issues, all those kind of things, kinds of things where I actually need way deeper healing than just, you know, going and meditating in nature for some of these things. For anyway, for my, for me anyways. Um, so what I'd like to suggest is that maybe both can be true. That yes, you could do self-healing in some circumstances and some Sometimes you could get healing from other healers and other circumstances and they do the healing and sometimes it's a combination of both and an example of that is let's say for example somebody has a, had an accident and they have an injury a physical injury and so what happens is they have that injury and no matter how much healing they try to do around it, it the, the pain just won't go away. Then they come to someone like us as a last resort and what happens is they we clear the emotional trauma around it, the energy, the energy build up the storage around it. And then when they go for the physical healing, then the physical healing can take place. So sometimes it's a combination of both. Um, big fan of Western medicine and spiritual medicine and healing. And 
that's why I suggest that what you do is you, you be open to both. Like sometimes we'll say to someone like, oh, uh, you know, you need to go to a doctor. That's fine. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll do as much healing as we can on the spiritual level, as on the energetic level, on the emotional level, and then it's time for you to go to the doctor. Um, oftentimes we can help with, uh, you know, mental um, struggles, uh, emotional struggles and all that stuff. So we can help with a lot of things. But there's a, like in Europe, for example, what happens is when somebody has a car accident, they will actually in the surgery room, the doctors will be doing all their surgery and right alongside them will be energy healers doing the energy healing alongside the, the patients as they're getting sewn up and put back together physically. They have energy and, and spiritual healers that are working with them. So what I would encourage you to do is if you have a story, leave it below in the comment below. So, so three things. If you have a story where you did self-healing, leave that in the comment. If you had a story where you had another healer do full out awesome healing on you, mental, emotional, spiritual, do leave a comment below. And if you have a story where you had a combination where you needed both, leave a comment below. And the reason I'd like you to leave a comment is because maybe it'll help people who are on one extreme or the other see that, hey, maybe there's both, both could be accurate, maybe both could be true. All right, so my name's Ken. Have a wonderful day, and check out the link on the YouTube video below, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.